Okay, let's talk about NoFap and the NoFap movement. I'll start off by talking about what I do like about it, but then I'll go on to the topic of this video about what I really don't like about it. So let's begin. Okay, so the world we're living in right now, men especially, we're bombarded by a bunch of sexual images everywhere. Freaking go on Instagram, there's all these girls twerking, you go on YouTube, there's, there's shit everywhere, right? So your natural biology is gonna give you some urges, and if you fall for these urges where you fap to excessive, you know, pornography and stuff like that, it can really fuck up with your mind, it can really fuck up with your brain, everyone knows this. So no fap is good because it turns these people that have been addicted to these negative stimuli, well not negative, but negative if consumed in large amounts, and gives them something to achieve, gives them a goal that they can kind of aim for. They go for these streaks, you know, like 30 days, hard mode, stuff like that. I do like that. I do like the discipline aspect and people choosing to improve their lives and overcome these addictions that could be detrimental to their confidence and self-esteem. But what's been happening as a byproduct of the NoFap movement is there's been a series of people that have kind of hyped it up to this kind of weird imaginary drug. People have made this seem like NoFap is the only key. NoFap is the key to self-improvement. NoFap is the key. And people get in this mindset where if they break their streak, right? Which happens to a lot of us because we are face. If you are going on these long streaks, you're kind of battling with biology here. When these guys break their streaks, they start to use the fact that they're no longer on NoFap as an excuse to not take action. They no longer go to the gym because they're like, oh, I'm not on NoFap. I can't go to the gym. They no longer work hard because like, I'm not on NoFap. I need to get my streak back. So they become dependent on the streak in order to take action, which is the really fucked up mentality because it's not really sustainable. You can't, even though you, they, you have people on the internet that say they've been doing it for two years, three years, these guys are outliers, all right? It's really difficult for the human being, a healthy human being, to be able to last that long, three years, without, you know, masturbating. Porn is a different issue, but you can't really hold yourself to such a unrealistic goal. Things are going to happen, things will trigger you, and chances are you're going to inevitably break it. Breaking that should not be an issue. You could, you should see and use this as a tool to improve yourself. You sh it shouldn't be just the only thing in your life. It shouldn't. Your life shouldn't just be about no fab. It shouldn't just be about your streak. You should be able to still go out there and crush your goals despite breaking your streak or not. Don't use it as an excuse. Because in many ways, it actually becomes placebo. People, once they get on it, they start saying all kinds of crazy shit. Like, they get super powered. What the fuck? Like, I've done it, right? I've had friends that do it. There are some benefits, definitely. There are some benefits. You feel more confident. You feel more energized because you're not wasting all your energy. But the superpowers that people are talking about where they fucking walk into a room and every girl's looking at them, that is 120% horse shit. I feel like people have come up with these things to try hype it up so that they can sell you their NoFap Bible, their NoFap ebook. It, it's, it's bullshit, all right? You, you not touching yourself does not have any effect on people looking at you. You don't get superpowers. That's placebo. You do get more energy, you do get more confidence in yourself. If you consider that a superpower, then you're sure, but you don't get the ability to have every girl fucking look at you as soon as you enter the room. That, that's some horse shit. That's all in your mind. So that is my problem with NoFap. Overall, use it as a tool, is what I say. Use it as a tool to better yourself. Use it as a tool to build your discipline. Use it as a tool to see what you're capable of, to see what your body is like when you're not exposing it to all this sexual material when you're not releasing your energy and your masculine essence but don't use it as the basis of your life don't use it as the basis of your self-improvement otherwise you won't get disappointed inevitably so that's the video guys hope you enjoyed it